Hello dancers, my name is Brandi Kelly and I'm the creative director for Race Dance Collective. Hopefully you've joined us for a few of our yoga videos, specifically we talked about Suri Namaskara A and Suri Namaskara B. If you haven't checked those out yet, go ahead and check out those tutorials just to familiarize yourself with how to keep yourself safe and um, what those postures and series of postures are. Today we're going to utilize Suri Namaskara A and B as well as a few additional postures. Just a reminder that any of our yoga practices, of course there are postures, but those postures are there to remind us to be present and to breathe. So the breath is the number one thing. If you have a moment where you want to take a rest, just keep inhaling and exhaling and y'all you're doing yoga. So let's get going. So you'll start at the top of your mat and we're just going to take a few deep breaths in to remind us that we have to breathe in our practice. So the hands can be by the side with open palms. You can press right hand into left hand to feel a little bit of strength in those arms. We're gonna take a deep breath in through the nose. Fill the lungs up, exhale out of the mouth. Like you're fogging up a mirror. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out of the mouth. A few more just like that. Imagine as you inhale, a light going from the bottom of your spine all the way to the top. And exhale, let that go. All the way down. One more, everybody. Get taller every single time you exhale. Grow an inch. Nice, everyone. We're going to get nice and fired up here. Keep the breath happening. Plant both feet nice and firmly into the ground. Inhale, lift those hands. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, lower down. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Tuck those toes, lift the hips. Five breaths. Three more, everyone. Press into the pads of the feet. Reaching the heels towards the ground, lifting the tailbone up towards the sky. One more deep breath in. And out. Lift between the hands, step it forward. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, plant the hands. Two more, everyone. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step, jump it back. Lower down. Exhale, find the lift of those hips. more everyone try to resist the urge to fidget if you need to move for comfort please do so but just to fidget try to find it okay to be still look in between the hands step it forward or jump it forward inhale micro lift exhale forward fold inhale root to rise exhale samas dtihi take a deep inhale exhale forward fold Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant those feet, lift the hips off the floor. Spread the scapula away from each other, widen the collarbone. One more deep breath in, everyone. Lift those hips a little higher, press those heels down a little lower. Look in between the hands. Step or jump forward. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, Samas Dtihi. All right, everyone, we're gonna go into our Suri Namaskara B. At the top of your mat, plant those feet nice and firm. 
We're going to brush the floor. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back. Lower down. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Exhale, step the right foot through. Pivot the left foot. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Lower it down. Do what you need to do if it's too much on your shoulders. You can always skip a vinyasa. You can always skip this part of the series and just meet us in downward facing dog. Exhale, step that left foot forward. Inhale, root the feet, lift the hands. Frame the left foot, pivot back, lower down. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Five breaths. Two more, everybody. Send the chest a little deeper through those arms if you can. Look forward in between the hands. Step it forward. Remember, we find chair posture again. After we micro lift, exhale, forward fold. Find that chair posture. Sweep the floor. Sink the hips down. Brace the ribs. And exhale, samasthiti. We do that two more times, everybody. The breath is necessary. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it, jump it. Lower. Exhale, tuck those toes. Step the right foot through. Heel rotates. Inhale. Exhale, step it down, lower down, skip it if you need to. Tuck the toes, lift up. Exhale, step the left foot through. Rotate the heel. Exhale, plant. Skip it if you need to. And holding there, everybody, five breaths. Likely building that fire, perhaps widening those hands a bit from each other, if needed. Rather than sinking those ears and shoulders near each other, press into the pads of the hands. Spin those elbows out and around, thinking about wrapping the triceps. Last breath, inhaling and exhaling. Look forward in between the hands, walk, jump, mosey. Inhale, micro lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, brush the floor. Brace the ribs, exhale, samasthiti. You've got one more, you guys. Get it going, make your breath super powerful. Inhale, root the feet into the floor, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back. Skip it if you need to, meet us in downward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes. Remember, you can always shift to the knees, tuck the toes, and step the right foot through at that exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, plant, step it back, lower down, always modify if you need to. Inhale, micro lift, exhale, you can always find that adjustment, left foot steps through. Rotate that heel, inhale, exhale, plant the hands, step it back, lower down. Tuck the toes, find that press, and find your downward facing dog. You made it, guys. Three more. One last one. Look in between the hands. Step it or jump it. Inhale, micro lift. Exhale, forward fold. Remember, we find that chair posture. Wiggle those toes, 
everybody sink back a little further. Anyone else's hands want to wiggle? Plant those feet firmly. Exhale, Samastitihi. We should be nice and warm here, you guys. So we're going to start now with the seated posture. So find yourself to the floor. So you face the front of your mat. Your feet are out in front of you. It's essentially a forward fold, a back of the leg stretch, yeah? But I want us to think less about folding like a pancake, even if you can, and more about the length in your lower back. Place your hands at your shins. Think about how long we were attempting to be when our feet were on the ground, that halfway lift. So thinking more along those lines, as you reach forward, you might be able to grab the ankles or the sock. You could always do that. You could even take your two fingers and hold your big toe, okay? So if this feels nice, great, or the tops of the feet, great. Paschimottanasana, a forward fold. Now as we do this, do not let the head go down yet. Draw the elbows down towards the floor. Every inhale, creating a little length, excuse me, space between your vertebra and every exhale, finding length. Can you widen in the collarbone a bit more? Really starting to feel that in the back of the legs. You might even grab all the way around the feet. One more breath here, everybody. Good, you can let that head release. You can let the hands release and roll up. Shaking that out just a little bit. So in your Mary Chasana, we're gonna take our right foot and plant it near the inside of the left thigh. Now, if this is challenging to your knee, that knee can always be less pulled in towards you and the foot can go a little more out. But as close as it feels good, sitting up tall. So arms will be out to a T, keeping that foot flexed and parallel. We're gonna wrap the left arm across the right leg, plant that right hand behind us. So start here. Now, if it feels also nice to do this, you could take that right arm to a cactus and you could twist. If you know, binds in yoga where you begin to bind yourself you can put your hand on your back like you're very proud and you could wrap that all the way around so it looks <clears throat> like this we will have to for everyone inwardly rotate on that right shoulder if you find that too challenging just lay off of that how much taller can you sit if you are bound unbind Turn yourself back again to facing that left leg and switch those legs out. Right leg is in front, left leg pulls in. Same thing, arms out to a T, adjust that leg as you need to. Right arm crosses over the left, lengthening nice and tall. Stay there. Making sure to keep a nice flexion in that right foot so toes reaching towards the shin. Perhaps you took that arm to a cactus or perhaps you took it to that version of a bind. Gotta inwardly rotate that left shoulder just a little bit in that bind. And very gently unbind if you have that arm bound and shake that out towards your side. Good. So we did our Paschimottanasana. We did our Mary Chasana C version of that. We're also going to do our Baddha Konasana. So, different than what you might have done in maybe, let's say, a stretch class in jazz or something. So, both feet are together, or in modern class, tailored position. Both feet are together. Instead of just letting our feet meet each other, we're actually purposefully rotating in our feet. So, what I'm doing is rather than letting my foot just inactively lay on the floor, I'm actually taking my thumb and rotating my foot just a little bit. So it's mirroring what my hips are attempting to do, which is rotate out. So perhaps you draw the feet out a little farther if your hips need a little bit more room. We're in if you got that. But we are actually actively rotating. It feels like sickling to dancers, but it's part of the posture. So in Baddha Konasana, you'll bind those hands to the feet, if you will. You will open up at the hips and you will lean forward. So if this feels good to keep that same lengthening posture without putting your head down, maybe you try that here as your elbows reach towards the floor. Maybe you're farther out. 
Or perhaps you begin on those next few breaths, inhaling and exhaling, because you are, right? Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Very gently roll up through the spine. Take those knees and pull them back into the chest, just like this. And we're gonna rock to our backs. Before you rock yourself backwards, as I'm gonna have you do, please make sure that you are safe. So look behind you and hug the knees into the chest. Rock yourself back and forward. If you can, try to balance on the top of that coccyx bone. Good. And on this last one, just go ahead and roll all the way down. From here, plant your feet flat on the floor. We're going to take after um, our Baddha Konasana that we just did, our Udva Dhanurasana. So that's going to be a version of a backbend. So many of you might be familiar with going straight into a backbend. If that's part of your practice, go for it. But we're not going to do a backbend tutorial today in that way. Plant the feet. From here, belly button pulls down into the lower back. You're imagining a string pulling you that way. Brace the ribs, press the hands into the floor, roll the shoulders down and back the spine, lift the hips, send them up to the sky. Now the ribs cannot here come apart. We're actually still trying to lace them together. Try to relax the throat. Take deep breaths in through your nose. And as you do this, rather than just trying to get this arc in that lower back, can you engage the glutes? Can you press down through all four corners of the feet? And can you think about lifting all the way through the legs and not just arcing underneath you? So lifting and pressing. Gently everyone lower down from the upper spine to the lower spine to the middle spine. Give yourself a roll on that spine windshield wiper just a bit. And we're going to take our uh, very last posture of just pulling the knees into the chest with a little bit of a happy baby just for a moment, so not a full version of this, but allowing ourselves to just take those knees one more time into the chest and send our feet down below us. So our very last posture, you guys, is gonna be Shavasana. So we're gonna take about three minutes. I'm gonna give you a Shavasana song. And in our Shavasana, it is a rest. It is a true rest and relaxation from our practice. So good job for moving today. We've gotten a lot of energy going in the body. It's now just time to take a bit of a rest. Eyes can stay open or closed. We're just gonna walk through a bit of a full body relaxation. So dancers with those eyes closed or open, start to find relaxation as you lay down in essentially a big X on the floor. Start to feel a relaxation behind the eyes, a soft gaze if they're open. Take any tension away from the forehead. Relaxing the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Finding ease in the jaw. Feeling the head hanging heavy into the ground, into the earth. Imagining like somebody gently had their hands at the front of the shoulders to encourage them to widen away from each other. A weight in the triceps and the forearms and the fingertips. A softness of the belly that we've been hugging in during practice, just soften it. An ease in the pelvis, a weight, letting it just draw deeply into the ground. A weightedness of the quads, a relaxation of the hamstrings. 
a weight of the calves, feeling the density of that shin bone, just reaching down, the ease in the toes, feeling the floor supporting you, rising up to meet you. Visualize yourself just for a little bit longer, being like a flower that's soaking up a bit of sunshine, or a plant that's soaking in those rays that it needs. With every inhale, you breathe it in. With every exhale, you relax a little deeper. Continuing to stay there for a few more breaths. Dancers beginning to wiggle the fingertips and the toes, maybe allowing the nose to turn towards the right and to the left. Turning towards in the next few breaths to your favorite side, so letting yourself roll up into a little roly poly ball. And on your next inhale or exhale, finding yourself to a seated posture. Whatever leg you naturally crossed in front in this cross leg position, cross the other one to remind us that we can always make changes and try new things. Dancers, go ahead and take that right hand and that left hand together, press deeply and firmly. Taking those hands to meet the forehead, it reminds us of what we will think of ourselves and others when we leave our practice today to our lips for the things that we will say about ourselves and others when we leave our practice today, and to our heart for the things that we will do for ourselves and others as we leave our practice today. It was a pleasure getting to practice with you today, dancers, and I very much look forward to practicing with you again. Thank you so much for visiting us here at Race Dance Collective. Have a wonderful day.